Hello everyone, my name is Engineer Arjun Singh. Today I am going to tell you about tachymetric survey as a part of surveying. So let's begin. First of all, tachymetry is an optical distance measurement uh, method. In this basically, uh, you must have seen that uh, we uh, calculate uh, horizontal distances with the help of tape or chain. In case of uh, vertical distances, basically we uh, consider differential leveling. But uh, in this uh, in this uh, particular kinds of method, the accuracy is very high. And but the, the this uh, requires a very much uh, time consumption. In case of uh, this uh, tachymetric survey, basically what we do is the accuracy is not much. Uh, uh, it's odd. It basically gives an ordinary uh, kind of accuracy. And the uh, it is basically a rapid method, so which uh, is very uh, useful when we are considering a very large volume of. Uh, uh, land to be surveyed uh, in case of railways or in case of any uh, other uh, topographical features so this particular kind of survey uh, is uh, to be considered now in this basically what we uh, uh, take is a tachyometer which is uh, basically a theodolite which is uh, attached with a stadia diaphragm which means there are different kinds of uh, uh, stadia diaphragm uh, on the uh, basically we have a crosshair and at the top uh, we have a horizontal line and at the bottom we have a horizontal line this is uh, one of the stadia and diaphragm i'm considering now in this what we do basically this uh, tachymetric uh, or tachymetry uh, basically works on the principle of uh, the pro uh, properties of the isosceles triangle which says that the uh, height of the particular isosceles triangle upon the base is, uh, is it basically gives a constant value uh, when, uh, whenever the uh, when we are considering a uh, particular focal uh, uh, plane and from that focal plane basically uh, we, are, we are getting three or two uh, isosceles triangles so the ratios between the height and base will be equal so with the help of this basically we can find out the uh, horizontal uh, distance which says now uh, when i uh, when i am basically uh, attaching a uh, 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 tachymeter on a particular uh, point a and i want to calculate the uh, distance uh, at point b and the ground is rough i cannot use the chain or any uh, other kind of uh, tape to measure that so what i do is i basically uh, 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 note down the reading of the top and at the bottom uh, of the cross uh, of the stadia and the distance between them is considered to be as the uh, uh, vertical distance now with the help of a formula d is equals to f by uh, i uh, cross s plus uh, f plus d basically here the multiplying factor is f by i which is basically considered to be as 100 and the uh, addition uh, factor which is f plus d is con considered to be as 0 so uh, this gives me that if there is a value of uh, 0 0.2 uh, meter and uh, if I have a value of 100, uh, uh, I have the constant value of 100, so it, it gives the value of 100 into 0 0.2, which is basically uh, which basically gives the uh, horizontal uh, distance in that particular uh, 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 that particular uh, length. So this is how the tachymetric uh, survey works. It is very rapid and it is uh, very convenient also. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching.